Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for 7 7. So it's July 7th. Um, this is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I don't know who this message is going to be for. It's going to be for somebody, not everybody. There's a new opportunity here, something somebody has manifested. This could be a bonus. You could be receiving a bonus or you could receive a, something new that on a tangible level. You know, this could be um, a gift. Um, this can also be a new partner, okay? But this is something solid. It's something stable. It's something that, it's like a reward. King of Swords. Maybe this is in regards to some decision that you made. Maybe you made the right decision. You were honest and truthful. You set clear intentions. And here's your reward. The fool. So this is somebody has, has uh, taken a leap of faith. This is a fresh start. So somebody is having a fresh start in some arena. After a period of unhappiness. Three of cups reversed. Seven of wands reversed. Somebody may have misjudged a situation. And now they want to start over. There's been some indecisiveness here. Is the, are these it? Yes, they are. It's the five cards that we need. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't you love it when that happens? Amazing. Love it when that happens. Let me get this zoomed in. You know it's right when that happens. The five cards just fell right out of my hand. <laughs> and the very first card is the five of cups. So somebody has been concentrating on a loss for quite some time. Emotionally disappointed. Unable to see that there's still an opportunity for love. There is. There's still an opportunity for the Two of Cups. There's still an opportunity for a new beginning, for a fresh start. There is. And maybe it's time to offer it. We have the Four of Cups reversed. Okay, I need to be logical at this time and tell the truth. Somebody is is about to, or accept the truth, that there's a new opportunity. There is a new opportunity. There's still an opportunity. Here we have the Six of Wands reversed underneath that Fool. Somebody has lacked the confidence to progress forward. We have the Knight of Cups reversed underneath the Three of Cups. There's been a lack of of love, a lack of love, a lack of emotional contentment, a lack of growth in the love arena. There has. Somebody is, is, has felt quite down in the dumps about this emotional loss. Somebody was sold short on their promise, or they sold somebody short on their promise of love. But we have the magician 
okay? So somebody has found or is finding the strength, the power, the confidence, the heart, whatever it takes, they are, they're finding their resources, their tools to bring success to their life. I ha it's time for me to take action. I have to take action. This is a card of manifestation, and this is a card of a ma manifestation, the very first card and the last card. Dropped. Okay, the first card dropped and the last card dropped are manifestation cards. Somebody has been thinking a lot about what they want, what's going to make them secure, what has happened in the past, how they lost an opportunity, and now they're ready for a new one. They're ready to be logical about this and take action. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for a brand new start, a fresh start, a, a new journey to begin. If someone would stop, or they are stopping, to criticize themselves. No more criticizing myself, no more fighting about this. I'm giving up, I'm giving up the fight I'm ready for my happiness. I'm going to take, I'm going to use all the resources within me to bring stability back to my life. So I feel as though somebody has lot, had or has lost their confidence to do the right thing with the Six of Wands reverse. There's no nobility here. There's no recognition. Somebody wasn't recognizing the love. They weren't recognizing it. They may have walked away. They may have left something that was love. But it feels as though there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity for a brand new beginning where you start on this new journey without bringing that baggage with you. Okay, because the fool doesn't bring a lot of baggage. All he's bringing with him is what's in that little bag right there. So I feel like there's been some sort of emotional disappointment that is that is being left behind. I'm gonna leave it behind. This Seven of Wands reversed is somebody has been indecisive for quite some time whether to, whether to hold on or let go. Should I fight for this or not? I think somebody is giving up the fight. I'm not going to fight about it anymore. I don't want to fight about it. Somebody is willing to shed their old ways to bring happiness back to their life. I'm willing to take the action, do whatever I got to do to bring success, victory, happiness, and stability back to my life. That's what's going on here. They hadn't recognized it for quite some time, but now, they're, now they've found this renewed faith. I think there's been some sort of serious emotional disappointment that has caused somebody to go deep, 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 deep within. There's also a divine connection today. Today the divine is working with you. Okay, seven is a divine connection. It's seven, seven. Listen at this time because you could be receiving messages that are trying to tell you where, where you need to go, what you need to do. Listen. 
um, there could be a new opportunity for love with the with the four of cups. Maybe there's an acceptance. Yes, this is love. Now, there's been a lot of unhappiness here, and there could have been a third party situation. We have the three of cups right here. We have the three of cups right here. They're all reversed, or they're all spilled over. They're, it's all sad. Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, but we got the Three of Cups here, the Three of Cups reversed here, and the Three of Cups reversed here. Somebody has gone through a, a, a big amount of hurt, and it's because of a third-party situation. Now, third-party situations don't always mean that it's, a, it's two lovers. It could be family members that are, that are in the mix, somebody telling you to do something that you don't want to do. You know, that's it could be so many different things. But I feel like, you know, three is a crowd. You have to follow your heart. You have to do what's right for you. Be logical here. The King of Swords does what's right for him or her. I need to be logical and do what's... And go after. See, see what's happening? I'm coming. I'm going after what I want. I'm going to take this risk. I'm gonna let my guard down, and I and I don't I don't have anything to prove anymore. I didn't recognize what I wanted, and now I have to bring happiness back to my life. So I feel like somebody is has has woken up. This is like an awakening. The magician card. I, I'm awake. I'm aware of what this is. There's a divine connection here. And I am willing to do whatever I have to do to bring success to my life. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for love here. With this two, with this two of cups over here and this four of cups reversed, but this is the ace of cups, is this, uh, there's a new offer of love for somebody. For some of you... You're, you're just going to want to work on your own stability, your own security, on your own. I need to be logical here and take care of me at this time. And that's your realization. I'm no longer going to focus on this hurt. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to work on my oneness. I'm going to work on shedding this past so I can bring a new success to my life. So I feel like today there's an opportunity for a new beginning handed to you from above. This is something that you've been you've manifested, whatever it is. It's time for a change. I don't know who this is for. I don't know if I should get an angel romance card or not, but I feel as though there's an opportunity for the two of cups, which is love. Could be one day, one month, or one year. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, there's an opportunity for for a new beginning. When somebody comes to the realization that they have the power, I have the resources to do whatever I want. Oh boy. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This could be the case for some of you. There is an opportunity for a fresh new start. Somebody has realized, they have, somebody has realized that they didn't recognize your worth and now they have this new offer of love. That's for somebody. For another group of people, I feel like it's a reconciliation with yourself. I do. For some of you, there's a, there's a new beginning here in finding yourself. I really feel that way. I'm, I'm going to refine myself.
there was somebody didn't recognize for darn sure with the six of wands reversed underneath that fool. Somebody was being naive, okay, because the fool is very naive. Somebody was being very naive about somebody else's worth, their role, all they did. I mean, that's what this is. The Knight of Cups can be somebody that comes to sweep you off your feet. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure who that is for, but you know, there's an opportunity for a fresh new start here if somebody wants that in a partnership. For those of you that don't, this is an opportunity to manifest what you want in the future because there's manifestation power here, big time big time with that ace of pentacles and the magician card somebody is manifesting their true desires after emotional disappointment and loss inspire passion life devoid of passion can be a boring un uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Let's get one of these too. For Saturday, 7-7. Seven, seven. Relax the hold of darkness. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. I don't know. We're going to read that one. <laughs> this moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you possess that in bucket loads. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us through us and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully, and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality not only of potential, but of manifestation of the great, big, cosmic yes. I knew it was about manifestation. I did. To assess this reality, you have to leap from known waters and others may think you are crazy for doing so this is the leap son of a gun it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks take that leap do it interesting you have to leave behind the dark ray weighty grip of hesitation procrastination and second guessing in the belief that you have to do everything on your own. You may fear for your life. And that, you may fear for your life, okay? How will you be safe in the wild electrical pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without the hazy sleep-inducing paralysis of playing it safe? Taking too long and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life and love? How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold if you don't hold on to fear? You do not need to worry about such things. Life is wild. Bia is also wise. It is a force of startling, raw awakening at times, but is also the natural process of evolution where all things mature according to a seasonal cycle in right timing. You are a part of 
not, up, not apart from that process. The invitation to shift gears and jump on board the express train of life will feel exhilarating and perhaps also challenging. When you are in the hold of darkness, you will feel pushed to turn away, to imagine it all too much, and to create excuses about how your desires aren't grounded enough, that you are being too flighty or flaky, or that you are not living in the real world. That's darkness. That is fear talking, not truth. If the sacred rebel is not awakened, we will continue to live in a culture drenched in fear and distrust. Those without awakened hearts don't yet understand what nature knows. She knows timing. She knows life and death. She knows the creative process. She just knows and can be trusted to support us, her own creations, and becoming all that we can become. Does this mean that we become passive and just flow along like a limp leaf detached from the tree and blown about randomly by the breeze? No. Being free of the dark hold empowers us to take up our cause. <clears throat> Sorry. This means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have by following up on them. Follow your intuition, your gut, and your heart. This is, painting, this is painting like someone who has lost their mind, completely free and from the heart. It means writing even though you have no conscious idea of what you are writing, even as the words are streaming forth upon the page before your rather curious eyes. And it means speaking about your work, never hiding it away. Allow it to breathe the fresh air and be held in the gaze of another. Detach from the darkness that would say it is not enough or must be the best thing ever, whatever that means, in order to be worthy of a place in the world. Instead, just let it be what it is. It might fly, it might endure, and it might not. All of nature, including you and your passions and dreams, will be what is needed, when it is needed, and how it is needed, according to wisdom. We just have to trust in this within ourselves and within nature herself through the flow of life and participate. You are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge. <laughs> Look at that card. I'm reading this one, but he's diving off the edge. He is diving off the edge. You are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge of what you have known. There is so much more calling to you now. It's your time. Leap. Take that leap. I don't know who this is for, but it is for somebody. Talk to you later.